Good morning again, year four, and happy Wednesday for English. Let's have a look at our LI. So today we are going to aim to create a piece of dialogue which moves the plot forward. Think about what the plot is. Okay, the plot is something that gives us an idea of the whole story. Okay, so whereas we have a, whilst we have a beginning, a build up, a problem, a resolution, and an ending, the plot is that as a whole. So, how do we move from the beginning to the build up? How do we move? from the build up to the problem. So we're going to include a bit of dialogue, which moves the plot from the problem to the resolution, okay? It's gonna have the problem of the monster and then our resolution will be the introduction of a hero or heroine to save the day. So before that, can you correct my punctuation? Think about your capital letters Think about your commas after frontal adverbials and your full stops and also exclamation marks in the right places. Because otherwise it sounds like this. Every morning I go downstairs to make myself some delicious cereal. Cocoa Pops are my favourite. I also really enjoy honey on toast. Doesn't quite sound right. So pause the screen here and on the next slide, we have the correct sentences with the correct punctuation. So here's how it should look. Every morning, comma for my frontal adverbial, I go downstairs to make myself some delicious cereal. Cocoa Pops are my favourites, and Cocoa Pops have capital letters because it's a specific name of a brand. I also really enjoy honey on toast, exclamation mark at the end there. I've also used a comma to separate my clauses. I go downstairs to make myself some delicious cereal. Cocoa Pops are my favourite. You could have also used a dash for extra information. You could have used brackets for extra information okay moving past that then i said that we're going to be using dialogue to progress the plot what do i mean by dialogue what is dialogue pause the screen for a couple of minutes and think exactly what that means so dialogue refers to direct speech. We have direct speech and reported speech. Okay, direct speech is when characters are talking directly to each other. So they might say, where did you go yesterday for dinner? Asked Bill. He's directly asking a question. It is used to help the reader form opinions on characters or it advances the plots. Think back to Mean Malcolm. He always speaks to other characters in a horrible way. And as a reader, this typically makes us dislike him. And that was the author's intention in Bill's new frock. Mean Malcolm was a bully. So every, everything he said and the way he acted as the plot progressed, we began to dislike him more and more and more. And we were happy in the end when Bill taught me, Malcolm, a bit of a lesson in politeness, okay? Let's have a look at the model text and how dialogue is used effectively. So, the monster marched across the moors in a fit of rage. It burst upon Hedot and smashed open the doors. The warriors in Hedot were terrified. They had never seen anything so fierce. The men tried to fight, but Grendel was too strong. The monster snatched up several men and dragged them screaming to its lair at the bottom of the swamp. Grendel returned every night for months. Any man brave enough to stay in Hadot at night didn't live until morning. So no speech yet, but we're left at the end of chapter two 
with our real problem? How is our problem going to shift to a resolution? We're introduced to that by dialogue, by a conversation between two characters. Let's have a look. Chapter three, a hero arrives. Across Denmark, a coast guard watched as a warship approached the cliffs. The guard frowned. The ship was filled with their enemies. The guard rushed to challenge the warriors. Who are you? He demanded. What do you want? The Geats leader stepped forward. His shield gleamed in the dazzling sun. I am Beowulf, he declared. Tell your king that I have come to kill his monster. Go home, the guard insisted, raising his spear. Many men have died trying to fight Grendel. Beowulf just smiled. Then that is how I shall die too, he said. So this piece of dialogue here, we're introduced to the person who's going to save the day. We have the little lines in between where there's no speech, like his shield gleamed in the dazzling sun. That creates a mental image, a picture that is there to save the day. If we break it down further, we can see here, it shows how brave and inspiring Beowulf is. He's prepared to die because a monster from another kingdom, a monster is killing, sorry, a monster is killing all of the men from another kingdom. And that kingdom is actually, as it says here, the enemy's kingdom, but he wants to prove himself a hero. So as a reader, we read that thinking, wow, Beowulf's so brave, he's inspiring, he's so noble. So the dialogue helps us create um, a reaction, it helps us create an opinion on the character Beowulf. Let's look specifically at the features of direct speech. So highlighted in blue here, we have our inverted commas our speech marks to show where the character starts speaking and stops speaking so the first time a character speaks is the guard he says who are you he demanded what do you want he demanded isn't in inverted commas because the guard doesn't say that otherwise it would be who are you he demanded the coach wouldn't say he demanded to Beowulf. He simply says, who are you? What do you want? And again, we don't have our inverted commas here. The Geats leader stepped forward. He shield gleamed in the dazzling sun because Beowulf doesn't say anything. When does he start speaking? Here, I am Beowulf, he declared. Again, I've got my closing inverted commas there and it re-begins when he restarts talking tell your king that i've come to kill his monster what else is important if you notice every time someone begins talking in direct speech we need a capital letter who are you capital w what do you want capital w i am beowulf capital i and so on and so forth really important third important step any punctuation within the speech, within the conversation, must stay within the inverted commas. So, who are you is a question, and that's the end of his sentence. So we put the question mark and then the inverted commas to finish the quotation. What do you want? Question mark, inverted commas. Okay. Finally, we need a new line every time a new or different person speaks. So even though I've got two bits of speech here, it is all from the guard. Who are you? He demanded. What do you want? The guard is speaking. I am Beowulf, he declared. Tell your king, blah, blah, blah. Beowulf is speaking. And then another new line for the guard and another new line for Beowulf. So they are the really important features when you're writing your direct speech. So 
your task is to create your own short piece of dialogue like the Beowulf story. The conversation is going to be between a new hero or heroine. Heroine is a female hero arriving and a guard questioning her. And I want your hero, we're going to change it to a female hero, heroine. So be creative, give her a powerful name that you will remember. Your character will arrive at the gates of the castle. So use this to help you set the scene. An example, uh, like paragraph starter can be found on the next slide if you need some assistance, but if not, try and do it yourself. I imagine this will take you 15 to 20 minutes. Punctuation is really important and make sure you present your female hero, your heroine, as someone that we're instantly inspired by because of their bravery. If you need to keep keep flicking back through the slides to see the features of direct speech or the example in the model text, do so. Here is an example for you before we finish up the video. So, the mist was suffocating the walls of the castle as an enormous clap of thunder woke the bats from the monster's cave. A small uniformed army marched towards the iron gates. Their footsteps echoed in unison so i've set the scene a little bit there no speech yet what's going to happen turn your army around at once it is not safe here past sunset warned the guard sternly what i might do now reflecting on that as he says it sternly and a warning i'm going to put an exclamation mark in there keep it within the inverted commas after that I'm going to have my female character respond in some way. Fear not, dot, dot, dot. I am. Okay, you can proceed from there into your piece of dialogue. I'm sure it will be fantastic. I look forward to seeing your conversations between your characters and introducing your female heroine. Good luck and have fun.